My name is Shannon Doyle. I'm a Tweed-based artist, currently having a show at Tweed Regional Gallery titled Life, Death, Innocence and Guilt. I was born in Grafton, New South Wales and grew up in the small coastal town of Broomshead. I was encouraged to pursue art from a young age after displaying not so much talent but a particular focus when making art as a young person. After winning a statewide poster competition at the age of seven featuring Garfield the Cat, my family encouraged a creative path. My pathway towards becoming an artist was further cemented after meeting the artist Wesley Pemberthy through a family friend at age 15. Wesley was an old painter with a lifetime of experiences in Australian art. As a result, I was introduced to techniques and materials. But most importantly, I was shown that a career as an artist was a possibility. My introduction to the techniques and materials led to a fascination with manipulating paint. This fascination has culminated in the acrylic paintings in my current show titled Life, Death, Innocence and Guilt. Eliminating single-use plastic starts with a discussion about change. That's what this work is, a conversation starter. It encourages others to acknowledge the urgency to co contribute to the cultural shift away from archaic beliefs and attitudes towards change. The work represents the line in the sand moment, a moment in time represented both symbolically and literally with the use of the visual device of the hourglass. The work attempts to appropriate the concepts and visual devices of the 16th and 17th century genre of Venetas and apply them in a contemporary context. The work titled Predator looks at the prevalence of sexual abuse throughout society, highlighted by investigations into the Catholic Church and the celebrity culture of Hollywood. As a victim of child sexual abuse, emotions began to arise that led me to reflect on my own experiences. I've attempted to capture a moment in time, a shift in the direction represented by a particular tension between the victim represented by the lamb and the perpetrator represented by the wolf. When I started working on this show, there was no such thing as COVID-19. So when dealing with the subject of life and death, innocence and guilt, naturally reflecting on the current events became a necessity. The symbolism I've chosen to represent the COVID experience include personal protection, the lockdown, and a question of mortality. Again, I made an immediate connection to the Dutch 16th century Venetas genre as a result of these themes. Our planet's fate is in our hands. As an awareness of human-induced climate change grows, it is apparent that our fate too is in our hands. Butterflies are traditionally a symbol of metamorphosis or rebirth. In this work, they symbolize hope via the metamorphosis from a world of consumption to a world of preservation. Life and death and the balance between are a reoccurring theme in my current work. And this piece is a continuation of this theme. The bell tolls as a reminder of how fragile life can be. This painting is the inspiration for my up and coming workshop titled Pandora's Box. I will be demonstrating a variety of techniques and emphasizing the robust nature of acrylic paint or reproducing certain elements, including the timber chest featured. Every generation through time has been defined by history what will we be remembered for? Mistakes made or solution found? This work explores the notion of the bigger picture. Is the fate of our planet defined by our ignorance towards the importance of our smallest creatures? 
It is apparent that scientific evidence details a form of extinction crisis occurring throughout the world as a result of environmental development and climate change. This work attempts to create an awareness of the fate of all creatures on our planet, including our own species. I have used skulls of a variety of species to emphasize the commonality and vulnerability of all species on this planet. I was once told that a successful concept is simple and well executed, and I think this best describes the work titled Surrender, which depicts a white plastic bag imitating a white flag. Our natural world has been fighting a war on human-induced waste that it simply cannot win. And we as a species and as individuals need to take responsibility for our own self-induced dependency on single-use plastic. Beneath the surface explores the complexity of the issue of mining and its impact on aspects of Indigenous culture within Australia. I have attempted to produce a work that visually has a lot of layers of symbolism to represent the complexity of this subject. Beneath the surface has both a literal meaning regarding the mining of natural resources from beneath the surface of the land and a symbolic meaning regarding the whitewashing of Australia's history and the historical misrepresentation of the truth about the treatment of Aboriginal Australians. So that's a little bit about me and a little bit about my art. So thank you for your time.